administration, uh, Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams' actions have resulted in the destruction of our national borders in your national park, ma'am. Texas, where I am born and raised and from and represent, begged the federal government to end its destructive policies two years before illegal aliens arrived in New York in the large numbers that you are seeing today. Those pleas fell on deaf ears. The issue rose to such a level that Texas took it upon itself to fulfill the federal government's role in defending our nation's border and the citizens of this great nation. Again, this is our job, not Governor Abbott's job. What was our reward? We were sued by Biden's DOJ. So even when we tried to defend our borders and enforce laws already on the books, we were stymied. You have testified today that local residents are concerned that these issues are being ignored daily. And local residents repeatedly sought answers for simple, for simple questions concerning the potential rise in crime near Floyd Bennett Field. And those concerns, as you have articulated, fell on deaf ears. Our national parks are the treasures of this country and show the awe-inspiring landscape that God has granted the greatest country in the world. They should never be used as shelters to house thousands of Bidens illegal immigrants. Ms. Morsi, thank you again for being here and thank you for your service to the city of New York. As a career law enforcement official, what are some of the problems New York leadership should have expected when they moved 2,000 people into Floyd Bennett Field? Just repeat, repeat the yes, last yes. What were some of the problems, because as leadership in New York, what were some of the problem, problems that New York leadership should have expected prior to what, what do you think or what action should have been taken prior to moving the 2,000 people to Floyd Bennett Field? Okay. Thank you for, for asking that question. Um, first, I, I, I just want to add that um, I'm not here to politicize um, political affiliations because I won't be here if I did think like that. Um, I'm here to represent my community and this problem that we have. Um, so if we go back to um, before the migrants came to Floyd Bennett Field, if there was a sit-down conversation with all the elected officials for, from, the top, from the governor to the mayor and to the specific site which covers South Brooklyn, my district, and also South Queens, you know, probably we could have come up with a better solution. Instead of, instead, it was just a one or two individuals that made that decision, leaving out other local electeds um, at the table without any answers for their community. And that's the problem, because we told them from day one, it's a flood, it's a flood zone area, there's no infrastructure, there's no, it's lack of transportation, and the open elements, it's just not good for those. And, and we're talking about families. We're not talking about single men. We're talking about families that are housed in the middle of Floyd Bennett Field. Next week, we're going into extreme heat weather. So just think of having a 10, 15 minute walk from there to wait for the bus to then go to a supermarket that's five, five miles away, right? We know that the lease is coming up for renewal, and these are the same things that we're bringing back to the table because it hasn't changed. It has not changed. And I understand they're here for the American dream, but at the same time, we need to do the background checks, vet these individuals or these families so that they can move to the next step. Thank you. Of course, and, and again, I, I applaud that. This is, this is not a political issue. I mean, we're on Capitol Hill, so this is politics, man. But, but this is an American issue. This is something that we could all come together and to agree upon that those are the minimum things that we should have done in advance to move into the field. And one more follow-up question for you, ma'am. Uh, prior to your public service, you earned a master's degree in social work and practice in that field for more than eight years. And thank you for your continued service. Uh, following back on your experience as a social worker and your professional opinion, what uh, what ramifications will the policies of the Biden administration, Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams, uh, what will it have on the next generation of New Yorkers given your history in your field? Well, I think there may be some trauma that's going to be included here with what is happening um, with the children being able to live in such um, conditions um, with everything that's going on. I, I feel as though we have to do better. And um, where does it stop? 
where does it stop? So thank, thank you very much, Matt. You, I'm, I'm, I'm out of time, but uh, again, this is not a political issue. Uh, this is an American issue. And, and I applaud you uh, standing up, even though it might be against stream for what your colleagues might think. Thank you very much Matt, for being You're here. welcome. I thank the gentleman from Texas. The gentlewoman from Virginia is next. You're up for five minutes. 